So here's a typical one mark exam style question. Check whether the decimal form of 27 by 48 terminates or not. So let me simplify the question first. We're given a fraction here and we want to talk about its decimal form. And terminates in simple terms means ends. So we want to find whether the decimal form of this fraction looks something like this. This is the decimal form of half, whether it terminates, whether it ends, or does it look something like this? 0.333333 goes on forever. So let's go ahead and solve it. If I open my calculator and I punch in these numbers, 27 by 48, I get 0.5625. So this means that this is actually 0.5625 and it clearly ends. So question solved. The decimal form of this fraction actually terminates. Now I know what you're thinking. In your exams, calculators are not allowed. So you're looking for a way to solve this question without a calculator. And that's what we're going to do. But instead of giving away that method, what I would like us to do is together discover that method. So by the end of this video, we'll be able to look at any fraction, not just this one, and talk about its decimal form, whether it terminates or not. And more importantly, we'll have a very clear idea of why that method works. So let's get started. Let's actually try to find the connection between fractions and decimals. What is it about these fractions that tell us whether the decimal form will end or will never end? To solve this mystery, we need a couple of more examples. Let me clean this board and start writing a few decimals and fractions. Let me first write a few decimals that end. 0 0.2 ends, 1.25 ends, and 0 0.175. All of these three end, I'm calling it decimals that end or they terminate. Okay, let me write a few more decimals, a few that don't end. I'll, I'll pick a few common ones. 0 0.6 bar, 0 0.6 repeating. Then there's this 0 0.83 bar. And here's one of my favorite, 0 0.142857. All of this repeating. These decimals don't end. I'm going to call it don't end. Don't end. They are non-terminating. Non-terminating. Is there any other type of decimals? Hmm. Well, there's one type which doesn't end, but is also not repeating like uh, 0 0.125798 dot dot dot. So there's no clear pattern and it doesn't end. But I don't think we need to consider these type of decimals for this video because we're looking for relation between fractions and decimals and these decimals are not going to give us fractions. They're actually irrational numbers. They're actually irrational numbers. So we don't get a fraction. We're not interested. Let's get rid of them and only look at these decimals. Okay, so now that we have these numbers in the decimal form, let's also write their fractional form. So 0 0.2 is actually two by 10, 1.25 is 125 by 100, 0.175 is 175 by 1000. And I'm gonna use a calculator here because I don't really remember what these fractions are. 0.6 bar is actually two third, 0.83 bar is where is it? It's five sixth point one four five one four two eight five seven. That that's something that I remember. That's one seventh. So yeah, here are a few fractions which give us terminating decimals and a few fractions which give us non-terminating decimals. Can we see a pattern here? Do we do we have something special going on here? Something that's always giving us terminating decimals. Pause the video. Think about it. So did you see it? Here's the pattern. If you look at these fractions which give us decimals that end, these denominators are somewhat special. All of these denominators are multiples of 10. No, wait, powers of 10. It's the first power, second power, and the third power. And you don't see that here. So maybe, maybe for a fraction to give us a decimal that end, we need its denominator. I'm going to write dr here. Its denominator should be, be a power of 10 power of 10. Now this does make sense, but let's be really sure about this. Is there no other fraction that does the job? Hmm. Well, I can think of a few. We started this video with the fraction half. Now half gives the decimal 0 0.5, which is terminating. And this is not a power of 10. So clearly there's something else going on. And here's one more number that breaks the rule. One by four, which is a quarter. This gives us 0 0.25 
even that's terminating and this is not a power of 10 hmm i think we jumped to this conclusion a bit too fast because even here i can see some non powers of 10 if i simplify these fractions i'll get this is 1 by 5 this is 5 by 4 and this is if i cancel 25 out i'll get 7 by 40 so i can see these numbers 5 4 40 and even 2 i can see the, these numbers popping up and and none of these numbers are powers of 10 so now what do we do what's so special about these denominators that are giving us terminating decimals what do these numbers have that these numbers don't 3 6 and 7 pause for a moment and see if you can figure it out yourself okay so here's what's going on let me clean this up first so here's what's going on we still need powers of 10 in the denominator to get these decimals that end but we don't always need to start with these powers of 10 we can start with some other numbers like these and here's why they work if you look at 10 that's made up of a 2 and a 5 and all higher powers of 10 are also made up of 2s and 5s 100 is made up of 2 twos and 2 fives similarly 1000 will be made up of 3 twos and 3 fives so you can start with 10 but you can also start with a 5 if you have a 5 in the denominator simply multiply numerator and denominator by 2 to get 2 by 10 and there you have it a 10 in the denominator that will give you a terminating decimal and this is what's happening for all of these numbers if you look at 4 that's actually 2 times 2 to make it a power of 10 you multiply this by 25 Now let's look at 40. 40 is made up of if I factorize 40, that's made up of a 2 and a 2 and a 2 and a 5. 8 times 5 is 40. To make this a power of 10, we'll multiply this by 5 times 5, which is 25. This will give us 1000, and that's exactly what's going on here. And this also explains why the other fractions were not working. We now know why 2 by 3 was not working, and and 5 by 6 was not working, and 1 by 7 was not working. For all three denominators, three, six, and seven, we have numbers that will never give us ten. There is no integer that you can multiply three with to get ten or a power of ten, and that's the problem with these two as well. Okay, I think we figured it out. Now let's summarize. If we want a terminating decimal, if we want a decimal that ends, we need to start with a fraction that has a power of ten in the denominator. But if you're not that lucky, if we don't have a power of ten, then at least we should start with a number. that has only 2s and 5s as their factors if we start with anything else then we're not going to get a terminating decimal isn't that amazing just by looking at these denominators we can figure out whether the decimal is going to end or not end i'm excited to try a few more problems let's get this out and this time we're not going to use a calculator so let me write down a few fractions 13 by 12 and let's let's add one more 29 by 35 and one more uh 21 by 30 pause the video and check whether these fractions are going to give us terminating decimals or non terminating decimals okay so let's do this together if you look at the denominator we have 12 and 12 is made up of a 2 and a 2 and a 3 twos are fine but this 3 is going to be a problem so this is not going to give us a terminating decimal this is going to give us a non terminating decimal What about twenty-nine by thirty-five? Well, thirty-five is made up of a five and a seven. Five is fine, but seven is a problem. Seven is a problem, so a non-terminating decimal. And twenty-one by thirty. If you look at thirty, it's made up of a two and a five and a three. Two is fine, five is fine, but three is a problem. So this is also going to give us a non-terminating decimal. Now let's check our answers using a calculator. Thirty by twelve. is actually it's actually 1.083 and 3 is repeating so yeah that's going to give us a non terminating decimal so we were right 29 by 35 is actually 0.828571 for okay that's that's a really long one but it's also repeating and this is not going to end it's a non terminating decimal so we were right and the third one is 21 by 30 that's actually 0.7 okay hold on something's wrong this was supposed to be a non terminating decimal but why did it end 
Try to pause the video and see if you can figure out what's going on here. Okay, are you ready? Did you see it? Uh, 21 by 30. We had a two and a five and a three, which was a problem. But all this while we were only looking at the denominator. If I also look at the numerator, 21, that's made up of a three and a seven. Surprisingly, this three, which was a problem in the denominator, actually gets canceled out. So my fraction becomes, I'm going to get rid of NT, my fraction becomes seven upon two times five, which is 10, and 10 will always give us a terminating decimal. So we should still check for these twos and fives in the denominator, but only after we have the fraction written in the simplified form. We should make sure that everything that's a problem actually gets canceled out first. Okay, now let's really summarize. And let's do that using the first question that we started with. We had 27 by 48, and we know that this is going to be 0 0.5625, but suppose we don't have the calculator, and we want to know whether this fraction terminates or not in the decimal form. What do we do? So the first thing that we do is we prime factorize. We see that the denominator is 48, that's made up of a two and a two and a two and a two, that's 16 and one more three, that's three. And the twos are fine. I think we know where this is going. If this three cancels out, we're gonna get a terminating decimal. If it doesn't, we're gonna get a non terminating decimal. So let's look at the numerator as well. 27, well, that's a bunch of threes, three times three times three. And thankfully we have a three in the numerator as well, which we can cancel. So what we're left with is nine by 16, and we don't even need to write that. We can simply say that it's the denominator is made up of a bunch of twos, and that's why it's going to give us a terminating decimal, a terminating decimal. And what a beautiful technique. Without using calculator, we can simply look at a fraction and talk about its decimal form. And I hope you got the technique, but also why it works.